Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids and adults of all ages. Today is finally the day. It's been so long, so many references, so many videos. But for now, but today, I will finally be starting my playthrough of the one, the only, 10 second run. No, I'm kidding, we're playing Undertale. Guys, we're playing Undertale. Alright. Now, I plan to do a pacifist run and a genocide run. I have beaten Sans on the genocide run before, but I have never done a true pacifist run. I have on my main account, which is this weird monstrosity of a me. And this is a friend's account that was imported here for reasons. And uh, this is my first genocide route. But we're going to be going with guest A, which was only created for... Oh, I didn't mean to skip that. I didn't mean to skip that. Hold on. Hold on. Backing out. Backing out. Backing out. Also, yes, that is Celeste right there. I know none of you care, but I have Celeste now. I'll be... I think I've already... In a video that's already come out... Yeah, I've already said that, actually. But I haven't recorded that. It is weird. Whatever. I'll shut up. Okay. We'll, we'll read the story. I, I already know the story, but we'll read it. Long ago, two races ruled over Earth. Humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. <laughs> so weird reliving my Undertale journey. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magical spell! <laughs> don't ask why I said it like that, I don't know. Many years later. Mount Bot 21X. Or 201X, I guess. Let us say those who climb the mountain never return. There's Frisk. Trips. And then she falls into the freaking mountain. What do you know? Also, wow, that looks really weird. The screen is so small for you guys. <laughs> it's microscopic. Wow. Alright, but uh, let's see. Yeah, you can see Frisk. She's in the ruins. She just fell down. Well, I mean, we'll have to name her something other than Frisk. <laughs> I do already have a name in mind. Alright, uh, when HP is zero, you lose. Okay, you could have done a little better. We are going to name the fallen human Trip. <laughs> I wonder where she got that name from. And for those of you who are saying Frisk is genderless, the monsters always uh, call her um, they and them. You are technically right. Except you're wrong, because there is one point where Frisk is referred to with a gender, and it's actually right before the Sans boss fight. Sans calls Frisk Lady, and that's funny, because I think Frisk is more female than male. Just saying. Ha! <laughs> Here we go, Undertale. I have memed on this, talked about it so much. Oh, wow, that brightness is horrible. Wow. Can I fix that for you? Wait, right... Right there. Right, right. I'm trying to make it better. Nope, nope. It's like when I'm changing brightness, it's completely fine. This is close enough. All right, I'm sorry. I think I think this is good. I think this is fine. All right, and it looks like I should probably like zoom in the camera more. I'll do that for the next episode. Oh hey, it's Flowdy. I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower! <laughs> hmm, you're new to the underground, aren't ya? This is literally gonna be the first time I've ever actually read all the text. Because I don't actually read the text in Undertale every time I replay it, because I've played this game like five times or something, at least. But... <laughs> Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul. The very combination of your being. Oh, we can move around. This is so cool. Your soul starts off weak, but it can go strong if you gain lots of LV. What does LC stand for? Why, love, of course. And love stands for levels of violence, of course. <laughs> no, it actually does. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Oh, he's... Oh, I just realized... This looks horrible for you, the brightness. 
I'm so sorry. Come on, seriously. I don't want Undertale to be ruined. Besides the text bubble, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Alright, it's, it's not that bad. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Flowey said awkwardly. Are you ready? Move around, get as many- Yeah, no, I don't trust you, Flowey. Even on my first playthrough of the game, I could tell you were supposed to miss them. How obvious is it? You missed them. Let's try again, okay? Oops! Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullet friendliness pellets! See the friendliness pellets. You know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Yeah, and now we die? Why doesn't every monster in the game do this? Just surround me with bullets. Then I'm guaranteed to take damage. Oh no, 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 oh no. Oh wow! Die, hacker! It's it's a goat mom! What a terrible creature. Torture such an in torturing such an innocent. Y oh, I can't read. Do not be afraid of law. I can't read. Uh, I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if another human has fallen down. You're the first human to come down here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Our it's Goat Mom. Following following Goat Mom, everyone. Oh, it's our first save point. Ah, uh, the shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Bam! Alright. First save of the game. Let's go. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. There's puzzles. You need to solve them. Also, that isn't a puzzle. That's a guessing game. Puzzles are supposed to be fair. This is a guessing game. Oh, oh, I'm supposed to read them. Except I already said what she said, so I don't care. Like, seriously, how are you supposed to figure out this puzzle? Like, think about it. If you just came across this puzzle, you'd be like, what is it? What, what is this? It's a Mario Maker Super Expert, that's what it is. It's just a dumb guessing game. Where's the invisible block at? Where is it? Where's the Kaizen block? We'll need to trigger several switches. You've labeled the ones you need to flip. Wait, I thought she said press. I thought the weirdos in this game pressed switches. Instead of flipping them. Please press this switch to- Oh, that's the letter. I Words, alright. Nope. No, 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 you want to press the other- FLIP IT! It's flip Toriel! <laughs> it's- you flip switches and press buttons! Splendid! I'm proud of you, little- I'm not proud of you. I- I- I, I hate you, Toriel. Also, this one doesn't even work. <laughs> Just wanted to point that out, a little easter egg. So you've been living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not, the process is simple. Uh, basically talk and then she'll come to resolve it. Oh yeah, I pressed B to skip text, I remember. Alright, so here's a funny easter egg. You just do this. Then eventually, dummy tires of your aimless shenanigans. You won, you earned zero XP and zero gold. <laughs> just thought I'd point that out. And just look at her face. Look, look at that, look at that face. L look at that face. She's, she's disgusted with us. The next room, <laughs> wait. <laughs> That's all she has to say. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can even solve Now, it literally took me until like my sixth or seventh replay to figure this out. But, but you see the path here. All right, this is, this is the path. All right, oh, well, first we're gonna have to fight a frog. All right, all right, all right. Now, this is the pacifist run. This is the pacifist run. I think either one of these, because basically if you don't know, you have to act on a monster, and then you can, once you've acted enough in the right way, you can spare the monster without killing them. You won't earn XP, and so you won't gain health, but XP stands for execution points, so I'm glad I'm not getting any of that. So we'll, we'll compliment for- I didn't mean to check. Uh, life is difficult for this enemy. Ah, oh, that's sad. Oh, goat mom's here. Still technically a pacifist run. Alright, you want your own zero XP and zero gold. And so then this says, the western room is the eastern room blueprint. I never understood what that said. But then we got here, and basically, Toriel's about to lead us through a bunch of spikes. And I'm like, alright, it's just another guessing game. I don't know how you're supposed to know which spikes are, won't actually hurt you. But you go through the path labeled by the western room. 
because it's the Easter Room Blueprint. It is such a smart puzzle, yet it took me so long to figure out. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. And see, then she's going to lead us through the spikes. It took me so long to figure out this puzzle. It took me so freaking long. But I finally get it. I mean, I get it. I got it on my last playthrough, actually. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Yeah, th that one is very dangerous. You've done actually thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. Basically, you have to watch to the end of the room by ourselves. Forgive me for this. I didn't mean to open that. So this is honestly just like 20 seconds of walking. It's quite boring. I'll just skip to the end. All right. Now, near the end of the room, there's a pillar here. Toriel's behind it. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, now I am actually going to leave you, because you need to test your independence, and she's got to go do something. I gotta remember, I can press B to skip text. Be good, alright? I'm gonna immediately leave. Ring? Oh yeah, she gave us a cell phone. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? It's literally been two seconds. And yes, I have left the room. There are puzzles ahead I have yet to explain. I don't like having puzzles explained to me. I don't like having puzzles explained. Hey, it's a frog. It. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Yeah, don't worry. This, this is a passive run. But in the genocide run, I'm going to have to kill you. All right? Just know that. Alright, playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. Alright. Oh, it's a battle. Winsome approaches meekly. I, we, we can literally already spare him. He's the weakest enemy in this game. Alright, so now there's some candy. Take one. Take a piece of candy. Yes. So I want to say you can take like four. And then it says you take you took too much too fast. And look how disgusting. And then you can't take any more candy. Take another piece. I feel like this is gonna be the other. So now I've taken three. I've taken three. I'm taking a break. Alright, alright, alright. Then I go back. Take one, take a candy. You took too much too fast. What do you mean? That wasn't that fast. Candy spills on the floor. I took like a 10 second break. Okay, maybe not 10 seconds. But a bit of a break in between two. <sighs> Frog it. Frog it. Let's compliment Frog it. Frogga didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyways. Blushes deeply. Rabbit. Oh, wow, that was hard to dodge. We just had to literally stand still. I, I don't even think you would have gotten hurt if you had stood still. All right, so we have to fall down here, and then we need to go up. This is like teaching you that those doors lead up. Oh, and also there's a battle. Wins them. That was hard. I, I don't know how I did that. Alright, I don't care. Cinnamon butterscotch. I like cinnamon more than butterscotch. I don't like butterscotch. I, I actually don't like butterscotch. Shut up, Toriel. <laughs> Alright, so look at this. This is funny. I actually... Mm, I actually noticed this funny easter egg thing on my first playthrough. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. So look, I can push this gray rock. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But then... Oh, first we have to do this puzzle. Just remember that for later. Now, if I'm good at video games... Yes, I'm good at video games! I'm good at video games! Alright, 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 so look, there's four- Now there's three more rocks, that means a total of four rocks. First, we have a battle. Um, alright, we're gonna compliment Froggit. Didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyways. Alright, dodge all this crap! What is that? What, what was that? Spare everyone! Alright, so now we can push that great rock. We can push that great- three, Those are three out of four rocks, I recommend you push them. What about the fourth one? Nope, don't don't recommend you push them. So I'm just gonna kind of skip all this. Uh, I think I got it. Alright, there, you're in the right place to go over here, then go back. I'm sorry, I've already played this game a lot, alright? Undertale is a really good game. I definitely don't have a sand shirt for those of you who are wondering. Pretend I didn't say anything. Alright, I just saved. Actually, I don't think I've saved because I'm dumb. Yeah, I pressed B. Alright, ooh! It's a ghost guy! Z, Z, Z. Are they gone yet? Z. This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? Yes. Oh, wow. Here comes Nabstabluke. 
Let's flirt. I just weigh you down. So this attack, don't, I don't know how you dodge this attack. I don't get, I don't, oh, that's how. <laughs> I didn't actually think I'd do that. All right, all right. Cheer. You gave Nath to Blue a patient smile. Really not feeling up, up to it right now, sorry. Yeah, now I don't exactly remember how to beat all these bosses passively, but I do remember most of them. Now, I want to say we, uh, not flirt, no. No, wait. So this, this is how you dodge it. It literally took until, like, my last playthrough, Al, to actually learn how to dodge that. It's surprisingly difficult for me, because I'm dumb. Alright, this is, this is simple. I can dodge this. I can dodge this. I'm just randomly matching buttons on the D-pad. Also, Al. Alright, cheer. Netflix wants to show you something. Let me try. What are you doing? What are you doing, Naps to Blue? Cheer. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. Today I meant someone nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Thank you. You just evaporated. Oh, no, wait, 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 no, no, no. I always, every time I play the game, I think this is the way you're supposed to go, but there's a secret thing up here. No, no, this is where the thing is. It's not actually secret. Um, I have four gold. Alright, then. I actually really need enough gold. Trust me, you'll find out later. I heard using borders. Oh, yeah, borders. I remember that. Oh, uh, I gotta change the border. You might not know what I mean. Uh, but whatever. Heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now monsters that way. Yellow name can spare. What do you think of that? Okay, this is uncool. It's bad. Really? Then, I'll tell all my friends... Tell their friends' friends. Never use yellow names. How about that? No more yellow names. So now, a, a monster's name will just be white. Even though you can spare them. So you can't tell. But, Ribbit, Ribbit, how are you doing without yellow names? Bring them back. It's rather inconvenient you change your mind like this. As I told everyone not to use yellow names, everyone threw theirs out. Well, last year it was fashionable to have pink names. I think everyone still has those in their closet somewhere. I'll ask everyone to look. This is the last time. Alright, now everyone has pink names and you can spare them. Oh, I just realized it's been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting enough company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying around. You can pick them up, but you have limited inventory space. Battle. All right. I can R. You, you see, look, they're pink. Uh, you can't actually tell. Trust me. Mold, Mold Small's name is pink. Just, just trust me on this one. <laughs> All right. But what about you? I can talk to you. I don't care. Oh wait, I just remembered how you defeat this guy. I just remembered how you defeat this guy. Hold on. Oh. Uh, we're at nine health. We spare him, and now he's happy because he's alone. I don't count. So now we can spare him. I remember now. All right, I got two gold. I, can I get one more gold, please? I right, I'm I'm gonna go out of my way and look for a battle just for one more gold, so I can go buy something from that spider bake sale thing earlier. Ooh, yay! All right, this is an easy one. We just spare. He's happy because he's alone, and then we spare him. Got to go. All right, now we're gonna go back all the way over to Spider Bake. So let me skip there. All right, and now I'm here. So leave Seven G in the web. Yes, some spiders called down and gave you a donut and a Spider Bake sale. Yeah, I probably should have read that earlier. <laughs> trust me, we need that for later. You, you just gotta trust me on this one. All right, we need that thing for later. It is important to have that. But anyway, I do believe. Can we go? No, there's like a lever somewhere. In the battle. Can we spare you? No. Luke's. Pick on or don't pick on. I'm gonna not pick on him. Finally, someone gets it. And why are you picking on me? Dude, why are you picking on me? I didn't pick on you. Why are you picking on me? Oh, I don't need to spare him anymore. Alright, that was a pretty simple battle. Is Where's the lever? The lever's somewhere. All the levers to the left, I see. It's a lefter. It's a lefter! It's like a lever, but it's left. You get it? It's funny. You're supposed to laugh. Alright. It's funny. Anyways! Uh, the far door is not an exit. It's sim I, I still don't get this. Wait a second. I get it now! 
Oh my gosh, I'm uh, finally under- Okay, okay, okay. Let's read that again. Mm. Why'd I pick on you? You rude little something. Nope. Nope. Don't pick on. Alright, just stay here. Just stay here. Just stay here. Well, you should have stayed in the corner because the screensaver never hits the corner. Alright, so look at this. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation's perspective. That's because if we go through this door, it's already open. Uh, uh, why three times in a row? I know how to defeat you already. Just the screensavers won't hit the corner. They legitimately need to like remove corners from that from that box. <laughs> look, look, cause the room rotates. I finally get it. If you can read this, pre flip the blue switch. You're supposed to flip it. Can I like devour you? It wasn't weakened enough. Alright, I think, I think, oh great. Ow. Alright, I think uh, we should heal. That's what I think. Alright, I've got to change speed. This is, this is a lot of crap I need to dodge. Alright, so I think I fight. Just trust me on this one. Alright, and then I do not take, yeah, this is literally... Just glorified enemies, enemy spam. Or I guess bullet spam, this isn't Mario me. <laughs> Sorry, don't know what my voice just did there. Alright, so now I should need to fight you again, but don't kill him. Alright, ow. Ow. So now I should be able to devour you, correct? It wasn't weakened enough? One more hit and it might die. Can I spare it? It might be weak enough just to spare. No! I didn't mean to press that. Ow. Oh, no. Okay, that worked. Uh, we're, we're gonna have monster candy again. This really shouldn't be... I know I could just run away, but I don't want to. I don't want to run away. I Don't do max damage. Do not kill him. Ow. Now I, I can totally, yeah, I could spare him, or I could devour him. Alright, now he's spared, and I recovered HP. Uh, there's probably some other way, you know, we'll, we'll try to do this guy another way. Uh, what if we, like, talk with him? Because I literally don't know another way to spare this guy, but there's gotta be one. Plants can't talk. Alright, that's all he said. He said something about dinner? I didn't actually read it. Alright, it's a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Well, if I was good at video games, I could have gotten a healing item then. But, alright, I already know how to spare this guy, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave. Alright, so the blue switch, and I need to flip, not press, is right there. Alright, that battle took like three minutes, and I ended up just running away. Now, which switch do I have to flip here? Flip the red switch. It says flip, alright? We're just gonna pretend it says flip. So now we just need a spam spare. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. All right. Bam. There we go. All right. Now don't run into the wall, Frisk. You're an idiot, or whatever we named you. All right. So I remember this. This is a good puzzle. This got me my first time playing Undertale. This got me my first time. This puzzle coming up here. Uh, if you can read this, press a uh, flip the green switch. So it's obviously behind one of these pillars. This one's the closest, so you think you'd be going here. First, first, what? What the? They decided to pick on me. I. This is a lot. How did that hit me? I didn't even take damage though. Don't pick on. Okay. Avoid. 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 Nope. Spare. So actually, there. I thought there was a hole you fell down there. I, I guess not. All right, but the the green level is over here. All right, I'm gonna flip it, and then I do believe. Oh yeah. All right, we could go up, but if we go to the right, then there should be. Oh hey, it's a frog. It's between you and me. I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Rivet. 
All right, you know, you know why she was here? Because there's a toy knife. Now, I know we're on a pacifist route, but there are some times where we're going to have to spare enemy. I mean, fight enemies some in order to spare them. Kind of like with Vegetoid earlier. So right now, I'm going to go into the menu, item, toy knife, use, then I equip it. And then I'm going to th throw out and drop the stick. The stick of fun away. Alright, so we're almost done with episode one. It's taking like half an hour, and that's kind of what I expected, frankly. Oh yeah, that took longer than I thought it would. Alright, there we go. She's calling me, but then, oh, I'm right here. How did you get here, my child? It was the froggit. The froggit hurt me. <laughs> I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. Yeah, you shouldn't have. It's impossible, to tr irresponsible to try and surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Alright, then, of course, we have to heal. Ruins. Home. You smell that? Surprise. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, but I want to have a bad time. <laughs> Alright. I will hold off on the snail pie for tonight. I have another surprise for you. This is it. Don't know why you have to hold my hand. This is literally like two steps. It's a room of your own. I hope you like it. Well, guess what? I'm gonna have to kill you. I'm not actually gonna kill Toriel. Uh, something burning. Make yourself at home. Alright, fine, fine, fine. I'll, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go to bed. It's been a long day of not fighting monsters. Alright. Found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Now, we are not gonna eat that. Not for a long time, and trust me, Undertale fans will know why. Let's talk to Toriel. Up already, I see. I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There's so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education! No, Toriel! Toriel's the main antagonist of this game. She needs to die. She wants to teach me. Ugh, disgusting. You want- she actually just said she wanted to be a teacher, but in Deltarune, she is a teacher. It's really funny. Still, um, I'm glad to have you living here. Did you want something? Uh, what is it? When can I go home? This, this is your home now. Honestly, like, we're just being mean to Toriel asking this. Would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about 69 Uses for Snail? That'd be more interesting. Um... How about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? Interesting. Not. I have to do something here. Oh, we gotta follow her. We're gonna follow her. We're gonna follow her. I think she went down there. I uh, just pretend we saw her go down here. Okay, I know we didn't. We're, we're just gonna pretend we did. It's Toriel. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Nope. I don't wanna. If a human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. A naive child. If you leave the ruins, they... Asgore will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. No, I don't wanna. You don't even- I don't even have an Xbox for you to take away from me. Ha! Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you were strong enough to survive. So wait, this was supposed to be Froggit earlier that gave me a hint of how to beat Toriel passively. I, I already know how, but I'll humor you, and I won't do it yet. You can talk. You couldn't think of any conversation. Wait, wait, uh, Toriel, not yet, not now, not now. How? This is literally just spam. Okay. Look, look, look. I want to show you something. So one time, I, I killed Toriel, right? And then I went and fought her again. But then sometime, it's some- Wait, I think this is it. Uh, then I went and fought her again. And look, you thought about telling Toriel that you saw her die. But that would be weird. Toriel looks through you. So, let's, let's check. 
knows best for you. No, she doesn't. I, I, no, ow. Ow, okay, that worked. Okay, what if we heal? What, what happens then? I, I no, ow. Toriel's acting a lot. What if we fight? I don't want to fight her. She's goat mom. I ain't hurting goat mom. I ain't hurting goat mom. I am literally at two health. All right, if we were, I'm not gonna run away. I'm not gonna run away because then we have no options but to start the fight again. So I'm just gonna do the intended solution. All right. And look, look, she start, she's starting, starting to avoid me. Like I, every time I try and get hit, but you just can't. You cannot. I'm getting so close. <laughs> just let me take damage. And she's like question mark. Exclamation dot 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 period exclamation periods. I don't know Just right. Oh, yeah, I forgot if you hold B you go slow. I always forget about that Attack or run away I think it's So close so there's supposed to be a frog earlier that told me like hey if you spare Monsters they don't need to fight you and like there was one that said that but he was also supposed to say but there might be a time where you have to spare without acting. And that was like the hint of how to do Toriel's fight. I didn't mean to press flee. I didn't, I didn't mean to flee. And now she just stands here. Alrighty. What will it take for you to learn your lesson? So now this is literally just going to be me spamming the spare button. So I'm just going to skip till something happens. Alright, Toriel's face is looking a bit weird. You can't exactly tell because of the horrible lighting, which I'm sorry about. But look, look at her face. You can see now it's looking a bit weird. Oh! Whoa! Oh, okay. How did how did I know? How did I have magical powers? I know you want to go home, but but please go upstairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you. Oh, by the way, pro tip for genocide runners: do spare her a bunch, and when this happens, fight. Pro tip for genocide players: if you want to be the worst person possible, fight right now. Press fight, see what happens. I'm not gonna show you because I don't want to be a horrible person. I know we do not have much, but we're gonna have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please go upstairs. Haha. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save you in a single child. <laughs> no. I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. And she hugs me because she's an awesome goat mom. Goodbye, my child. Alright, now I'm actually, like, gonna go back. And, hey, I'm kind of wondering what would happen. Where is, is Toriel gonna be here? Like, cause I want to save. I want to. I want to save, cause I, I and probably you knows knows what happens. But like, I think like you just never see Toriel until the very, very end of the true pacifist run. But I want to save here because there isn't a save point right after you exit there. So I'm just gonna save here. And yeah, this has been Flame Game Seven with un with. I mean, this has been Undertale. What well, I said that wrong. It's been Undertale. <laughs> yeah. I don't have much else to say. It's been Undertale. Now, I actually forgot to say it at the beginning of the episode because I'm dumb, but you know, based on the title, I started the series, like, just I'm trying to celebrate the end of summer. This should be coming out first day of school, at least for me. Maybe not you. Maybe it starts in a week. Hopefully it doesn't. School's horrible. But anyways, that's it for episode one of Undertale. After memeing on it, talking about it, and all of everything in between so much on the channel, it's about time I start playing it. And now I have. But goodbye, this has been Flaming Game 7. And remember kids, eat your green vegetables.